Hi everybody, welcome to Beta Fish News Club. I'm Tom Baxter. Um, here we're going to go over today the uh, the affliction of Popeye in your fish when the, the fish eyes pop out. Um, it can be pretty concerning when you see your fish having one or both of their eyes pop out. Um, it could have different colors, be red even, or blurry or cloudy. Um, so this is could be attributed to a lot of things. They call it Popeye disease because it can make the fish's eye pop out like crazy. Um, it's not to be confused with normal fish like goldfish, blackmoor goldfish that do have large eyes. This is if you have like a beta. Uh, your eyes could be swollen, red, or cloudy. Um, so we're going to figure out what this causes this and what to do about it. Um, please stay till the end of the video because we're going to be going over how you can actually download this as a handy guide for yourself. Uh, so that's at the end of this video. It has a real name, Popeye fish, of exophilomia. Um, so this is when the eye becomes inflamed, um, irritated, and blows up. Uh, it could be cloudy, red, or clear, and swelling is the most normal thing. Uh, it's most likely Popeye disease, which is caused by fluid leak between behind the eyes. So it could even rupture the cornea, which makes the eye pretty much the fish blind to that eye and blood stained. Um, so many uh, beta diseases, there's so many different causes and afflictions. So it could actually just be an injury. Um, so you want to watch out if you have multiple betas or just one beta in the tank. Um, if you have more than one then and they all have the problem, then yeah, you have a problem. If it's just one with one eye, you might want to figure it out. Uh, it could be just a fish fight that went wrong. Or they could have bumped themselves. So you want to make sure that the eye does heal. So you want to or try to breed off infection. Um, Popeye is usually found in both eyes commonly, so it could be bacteria, parasites, or fungi, and it could be fatal if you don't uh, treat it. Also, it could develop dropsy, which is a really bad thing for beta fish, which can cause buildup in the kidneys. Uh, wa poor water condition is also the main thing you should look at. Um, if a lot of your fish have it, then it's probably your water. You need to change it, uh, maybe quarantine the fish there's a few courses of action to treat it. You always want to monitor your water and perform water changes. You want to um, test your water all the time, see if there's a low pH, and you got to fix that. Because even if it's not the cause, the good water really de-stresses a fish, and stress really kills your fish quickly and shortens its life. You want to, if it's only one fish, you want to move it to another tank so it won't spread it, and then you could treat it. Um, there's also swim bladder disease. There'll be another link there too in our channel, uh, which can be caused by a lot of things. But you got to remember you want to keep the water right and the diet tight. So you want to prevent it as much as you can. And the best way is good diet and good water. Uh, the better the care, the longer your fish will live most times. And the healthier the tank, the healthier the fish. So you want to make sure that you're using the correct uh, medicine. Um, you can use this as a handy guide, but uh, Popeye disease is a major thing and it's kind of scary to think, but um, it, it can be treated and mostly it's water and diet and maybe some medicine. Uh, if you want to download this, like we mentioned, please visit our website www.betafishnews.club and you'll see there's a lot of good goodies there. You can sign up for a mailing list and we'd love to have you join the club. And also if you want to have your fish on the Fish of the Month Club, please send an email to betafishnewsclub at gmail.com with a picture of your fish and its name, and it'll put you on our wall of fame. Thanks for watching.